This video was created to inform people about Wi-Fi technology. What is Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is the most popular and fastest growing wireless local area network or WLAN technology. Wi-Fi's popularity has been so great that many people refer to WLAN in general as Wi-Fi and consider the two terms synonymous. Wi-Fi uses radio waves to provide a wireless network connection for computers, smartphones, and other Wi-Fi ready devices. How does Wi-Fi work? Wi-Fi ready devices achieve network connection through a wireless access point or hotspot such as a wireless router which transmits a signal using radio waves to the Wi-Fi ready device. Wi-Fi makes use of the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bandwidths of the radio spectrum and can transmit on different channels to reduce possible interference. Typical Wi-Fi access points have a range of about 120 feet indoors or 300 feet outdoors and can support use by multiple devices. What is the history of Wi-Fi? In 1985, the Federal Communications Commission opened for unlicensed use new bands of the radio spectrum at 900 megahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, and 5.8 gigahertz. Tech firms built wireless networks to make use of the new radio spectrum bands, but experienced limitations and growth was slow due to compatibility issues and the lack of a common standard. In 1997, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers approved the 802.11 standard in which Wi-Fi and most other wireless network technology are based. The development of a common standard was helpful, but 802.11 allowed for data transmission at only 2 megabits per second. Slow speed and range limitations led to subsequent standards which improved on these shortcomings. The current Wi-Fi standard is 802.11n. This improved standard was introduced in 2007 and allows for data transmission at 100 to 300 megabits per second with an increased maximum range. Who uses Wi-Fi technology? Wi-Fi is currently deployed in a vast majority of businesses in the United States. Businesses ranging from one self-employed individual to large corporations utilize wireless technology every day. Small businesses like contractors and home inspectors use Wi-Fi connected tablets to take pictures, notes, order materials, and keep in contact with customers. Retail stores use Wi-Fi to control their point of sale systems. Employees use Wi-Fi to operate the handheld inventory and price check machines. Large warehouses use Wi-Fi to track inventory and the locations of physical assets like forklifts and segways. Hospitals and other healthcare facilities are currently switching over to electronic medical records which are accessed by hospital staff on iPads and other Wi-Fi ready devices. Schools are making use of Wi-Fi technology as well. Daycare centers and elementary schools use wireless technology to power tablets loaded with educational games for younger children. Middle and high schools use Wi-Fi to allow internet access to students who use tablets and laptops in class as well as personal electronic devices in common areas. Universities and trade schools have upgraded from hotspot accessibility to almost complete Wi-Fi coverage campus-wide. Much like its use in schools, public Wi-Fi accessibility has exploded in popularity over the past 10 years. You can walk into most fast food chains and even local taverns and restaurants to find that your smartphone or tablet is connecting to a free Wi-Fi network provided by the business. Small towns such as Orleans and Salem in Massachusetts, as well as major metropolitan areas like San Francisco and Philadelphia, have taken wireless networking even further and have used taxpayer and private industry funds to transform most, if not all, of their cities into gigantic Wi-Fi hotspots. Perhaps the largest growth of public Wi-Fi accessibility has come in sports stadiums, arenas, and other large venues. NFL, NBA, MLB, and even college sport venues like Beaver Stadium have adopted Wi-Fi technology in recent years. Finally, perhaps the most obvious area of Wi-Fi use is in the home. Most residential spaces that have a broadband internet connection are capable of wireless internet connection through the use of Wi-Fi technology. Advantages to having Wi-Fi in your home include the ability to move from room to room freely as well as not having to drill holes in walls and run cables to every room that you would want to have internet access in. What are the important issues regarding the use of Wi-Fi? Though there are many advantages to using Wi-Fi, the technology is not without its problems and issues. One such issue is wireless interference. Devices that operate within the same bandwidth spectrum as a wireless device 
will cause wireless interference that can lead to slower speeds and drops in connectivity. Interference can often be eliminated by simply changing the channel on your router. Another potential issue is range limitation. Range issues can be caused by physical objects disrupting the Wi-Fi signal. Issues with range can be eliminated simply by changing the location of your router to the highest, most central area of your home and making sure your antennas are installed properly. Security issues are also a concern when using Wi-Fi technology. An insecure wireless network allows access to anyone in range, which may lead to piggybacking or using the wireless network without permission. This can use up data if there is a data cap provided on that particular network, as well as eat up bandwidth and cause a reduction in speed. Even more concerning is the fact that unsecured Wi-Fi networks can put at risk private files and information. There are measures that can be taken to reduce security issues on Wi-Fi networks, most notably encryption technology. The original data encryption protection for Wi-Fi networks was Wired Equivalent Privacy, or WEP. WEP allows basic security for wireless networks, but is not recommended for today's standards. Wi-Fi Protected Access, or WPA, improved upon WEP protection, but has since been replaced by WPA2 encryption as the new standard for Wi-Fi security. What does the future hold for Wi-Fi technology? 802.11ac is becoming the new standard for Wi-Fi technology. This new standard is a faster version of 802.11n. The first 802.11ac standard products operate in the 5 GHz bandwidth and have speeds ranging from 433 to 1300 megabits per second, with second generation speeds increasing to a maximum speed range of 3.47 to 6.9 gigabits per second. 802.11ad, or Y-Gig, is another new standard for Wi-Fi. 802.11ad uses the 60 GHz wireless band and has speeds of up to 7 gigabits per second. Though faster, wireless signals in the 60 GHz bandwidth have a much shorter range, as low as only 30 feet. And in addition to shorter range, signals in the 60 MHz bandwidth are less likely to penetrate solid objects like furniture and walls. These drawbacks may keep 802.11ad from overtaking 802.11ac as the most popular new standard. But perhaps the true future of wireless technology isn't Wi-Fi at all, but rather an entirely new standard. WiMAX, the IEEE 802.16 standard, has speeds of up to 100 megabits per second and operates in the 20 megahertz bandwidth. The major advantage of WiMAX has over Wi-Fi is that WiMAX measures its range in miles rather than feet like Wi-Fi technology based in the 802.11 standard. WiMAX technology averages a maximum range of 25 to 30 miles, giving it the ability to supply wireless network access to entire cities with far greater ease than Wi-Fi. Whether it's Wi-Fi or WiMAX, Wireless standards will continue to increase the speed and popularity of wireless networking, making it clear that the future of network technology has no strings attached.